Hi everyone, this is Layer Games, and today I'm watching episode 14 of Little Witch Academia. Last episode, Akko managed to pull off what she wanted to and solve the curse of the monster that they had to be sacrificed to, but somehow that whole performance was taken as cheating or something. I don't really understand the logic behind that, but maybe this episode will explain. Um, I do think that compared to Diana, Akko's whole show was a lot more impressive, especially visually. All Diana did was just summon a unicorn. I don't know why they're taking it to be that impressive. Personally, I think summoning those a giant frogs from Konosuba or creating them or whatever they did, um, you know, one of those other performances was a lot more impressive than a unicorn. I mean, the, the summoning itself was pretty flashy, had nice effects, I guess, but not nearly as much as the um, the solving of the curse. I'm calling it a curse because it seemed to be one. Uh, the monster just seemed to have a really bad tummy ache. <laughs> that was its problem. Uh, it may actually, now that I think of it, it may actually kind of explain the original reason for becoming sacrifices, maybe over time, like may maybe the initial like the initial version of the sacrifice uh, performance, I guess, was to go inside the stomach and try to remove the seed that was giving it a, a tummy ache. But then people failed over and over and over time. Maybe it just became like a tradition to be swallowed and pooped out. So, like, maybe that just was the original intention of the presentation. And they actually succeeded, which kind of brings into question why they consider it to be, like, not a valid entry. So, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, with that said, let's see what happens this episode, and let's get started. Oh, okay, so that that was the third one. Okay, so I guess I could just call them words instead of just, like, eyes or gems or whatever. Each one represents a word. So we're on episode 14, and it's three out of... Whatever they said. Seven? Oh, has it? Okay, cool. All right, let's skip this opening. Hold on, you know what? I think the opening changed. Let me check real quick. Okay, it seems it did change, so I'm going to watch the previous opening first. Alright, so it changed literally this time. So, alright, let's see what this opening has to offer. I don't know if I ever watched it originally.
So I'm watching this opening on episode 13, if you want to sync it. It's pretty nice looking, like all the visuals and animation, but it's kind of a generic opening at the same time. One thing I really do like is the designs of just like almost everything, except the staff. Alright, so that was the opening on episode 13, and now I'm going to go back to episode 14 and watch the episode skipping the opening until, well, until the last couple of episodes so uh yeah all right back at episode 14. what is that girl always working on and does she not talk also that other one just eats i don't even know why they even hang out it's not like they interact. Which magic? The tra the the transformation magic or the magic she used to pull the seed out? It seems that specific word is kind of situational. It's just an arm that pulls something, it seems. Oh, you found her already. You know, if you don't want people to come in, you can just lock the door. That is a weird phone. They, she didn't even have to pick it up for it, like, they just automatically picks itself up. Oh, are you not paying them well enough? <laughs> it was about time. The working conditions are terrible. Is that how they get paid? How did you make this? Is there magical, like... Excel or something? Ah, yeah, sorcerer's stones. Basically pebbles. She's pulling the old people card, is she? There's some pretty young witches, young looking witches there. She, she, she can't be the only one. She 
she, to me, she looks like she, maybe she's like about 30 or something. I guess that would be considered pretty young. Or maybe she's way older than that. Just young and relative to all the other witches. <laughs> Neat. Well, that seems to be magic. Oh, I see. They said Sorcerer's Stones, though. I asked about this tower before. I hope that's not metal. Uh, never mind, it is dangerous. <laughs> Is it the tech girl? Oh, no. It's just a new character. She teaches electronics. Magitronics, okay. Cool. That's a thing. See, I was talking about practical magic earlier, and I feel this is exactly what I was thinking of. I agree that this is probably what should be done with magic. Essentially the same thing that is done with Every force that humanity knows of and is able to manipulate in some way. I feel you already have a friend that does this sort of thing as a hobby. Oh, oh my god, even Ta- like, she- if she's the only one that has done this type of stuff, she is, like, incredibly impressive. Why would they be against this? I am fully in favor of whatever she plans to do with magic. I wonder what the magical internet is like. Man, they rely on magic for a lot more than I thought. Do they speak another language? You know, I kind of feel that... Oh, what? <laughs> Did they convince her? <laughs> That's hilarious. And they convinced her. That, that's really funny. They do, I mean, like, I, I'm not against this. If they feel like they're not being properly comp uh, compensated, then it's their right to demand better pay and better conditions. So just because, I mean, okay, to me, this just seems like a problem of mismanagement by the leaders of this place.
<laughs> yes, I didn't mention that before. <laughs> I need to learn Unity. I began a little while ago, but I never, like, I just barely started trying and then forgot about it. So is there a way, is there a way to create an alternate or like a secondary Sorcerer's Stone? The way they talked about it before made it seem like everyone had like a sorcerer's stone, which is why I made that joke about them being like pebbles. But it seems there's only one, and I, I just misunderstood, I guess. But magic is used outside of this place, right? So, I, I guess we could consider this just like as, as a normal generator or something. But if that's the case, why not just get another one? They seem to pay everyone in energy. Susie just doesn't care. <laughs> I like how they made her the leader. That's actually pretty reasonable. So, how do you get it? They're really dismissing- look at this! She literally seems like the smartest person in the world. In this world. It seems like stuff like this would be incredibly efficient. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah, I approve of this. Basically, batteries. Instead of just... Yeah, alright, cool. This is essentially the same thing as saying, let's create solar panels. Seems they pay for themselves in time. Ugh. It is frustrating when people refuse improvements over something because of tradition. Tradition is basically just doing something the same way because they used to do it this a certain way and then not changing. I understand if it's for like events. 
But when it's actually getting in the way of life, you should probably change it. I'm very interested in this modern magic. They're kind of showing, like, she's, she's giving off bad guy vibes, but, like... Like, everything she said has been reasonable and interesting. So if she's made out to be a bad guy, I, I wouldn't like that. Hopefully she's just... misunderstood. So I'm going to dump water on that? Well, there's been a mita. Oh, and it's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> she was prepared this time. What's going on here? Oh, they're just blaming everyone, huh? I have a feeling it was probably the tech witch. Which I don't like because she has extremely valid points and very interesting ideas. She didn't have to resort to this. Hmm. See, if they had this technology before... Like, if they had computers and stuff and able to, like, actually use them like this... <laughs> I feel like a lot of problems would have been solved really easily. The fact that she's doing this means that she probably paused this so she could solve it. Which again, I don't like because... Without using these dirty methods, she would have probably convinced everyone eventually. Yeah, she's burnt all over. Oh, okay, no, she's fine. I wouldn't be so sure. Oh no, what a surprise. I'm very disappointed in her. It's 
See, all of this stuff is really awesome. Look, they have servers now. They could probably, like... <laughs> So many problems. Ha. Her ideas are very good, except for the way she got her ideas across and applied. Oh, right, I had completely forgotten about this. I don't think this is going to be permanent, and that kind of makes me sad. Because having the bad guy have all these good ideas it means that her ideas are not going to stick. My arch nemesis! Alright, well, that was a very interesting episode. Uh, <laughs> You know, it kind of seems a little bit like, like this, this show reminds me a little bit in terms of like, plot, how shows like Futurama or The Simpsons go. It's very episodic with like little hints of a bigger story, but like, it just seems like every little mini arc is just a different skit just a different idea that they wanted to turn into an episode or like two a series of episodes it's like oh this episode we're gonna have magical technology and a worker strike mm. again I'm, I'm disappointed that the idea of magical technology is going to be dismissed by the end of this because of the methods that the leader of these ideas are is using because now she's the bad guy now everything that she promotes everything she's kind of evangelizing i guess you could say it's going to be rendered invalid when she's found out and that's a shame because these are legitimately good improvements over their way of life I was complaining, not really complaining, but pointing out earlier how uh, their archival techniques are extremely inefficient. Them having servers and search engines basically fixes everything. There's also all the inefficiencies of how they use magic and stuff. Like during the strike part where they were talking about how they can't uh, spare the magical energy. I mentioned that it just seems to be a, a mismanagement of that energy, essentially. And then here comes this, this lady and kind of fixes exactly what I thought was a problem, but she had to be a bad guy. And now all those uh, actual fixes to these problems are going to be invalidated by her being a bad guy. So I, I'm not a fan of this role that she seems to be filling. That said, I was really happy to see how magic could like, it also seems really weird to me that she's created all these things without any like modern manufacturing. Like I'm thinking that maybe she does have like an entire company behind her. That distributes these and she's trying to sneak and she's kind of like integrate them into the school so maybe you know once she's discovered and stuff it won't be the end of magical technology It'll just be the end of magical technology at this school for now or maybe magic just makes this kind of manufacturing a lot easier and she's able to do this on a like small scale ah <sighs> But uh, yeah, interesting episode. Interested to see where it goes next and if she actually will end up being the bad guy. Because, I mean, clearly she's used, used underhanded means. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.